for the Basketball Red West Block. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given the importance of timely school project execution in meeting the educational needs of our communities and given the diverse stages from planning to completion of these projects, and further, given the ongoing concerns raised by the opposition NDP regarding school constru construction projects, often without a full understanding of the project stages, can the Minister of Infrastructure, for the benefit of the House and especially for the opposition, outline the different stages in school development projects and the corresponding timelines for completion? Great question. The Honourable the Minister of Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, the province has a whopping 98 schools in the queue at one of four stages. Pre-planning, which addresses capacity and site selection. Planning creates a functional plan. Design and tender includes cost estimates, drawing, uh, drawings, permitting and bidding. And okay. The Honourable the Minister of Infrastructure is the one with the call. I know how contentious this is. And finally, construction. <laughs> Generally, depending on size and complexity, it takes three to four years to build a school and get kiddos in the seats. Mr. Speaker, our department continues to work and take every opportunity to speed up timelines and reduce costs, of course, while maintaining quality. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that some school projects have been identified in my constituency for replacement and modernization, and given the significant importance of these schools to the communities in my riding, namely the Malague Replacement School Project, Barhead Composite High School Modernization, the Holy Family Catholic School in Wasetna, can the same minister provide updates for my constituents on the progress of these three projects and the expected timelines for completion? the Minister of Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to let the member know that all three projects he mentioned are currently in design. We expect the Holy Family School to tender later this year. All will have shovels in the ground in 2025, ready for a September 26 opening. Mr. Speaker, in 2015 and in 2016, before the Nenshi Trojan horse and liberal invasion, the NDP announced zero schools. Since 2019, we invested $1.4 billion into 120 projects with more on the way. We have a roadmap for success, and we're sticking to it, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.